Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I have a fairly balanced rack. No bingo. How to sort it out? Well, I think Goody leaves the best rack leave and gets the Y doubled. Wow, what a dreadful pickup. Five consonants. A long way from a bingo. Is it bad enough to change? Probably not. Baft would sort the rack out. I'm looking to play off two out of B, F and P. I don't think I can play off all of them. Just looking to see if RE was possible. Then I would have prefab, but I'm not seeing any other B, F, P words. Baft plays off the two worst and splits up the duplicate T. Great, and I was about to say there's nowhere nowhere for that, but there is now. In row J, but ah, this scores more. Baft for 20. Wow, and I draw another bunch of consonants. So, how to sort this out? I would have punk tum through a U. I have coom on my rack, which isn't bad. NPTU, quite nice. But does coom play anywhere? I'm not sure it does. So, wow, close to defunct, but I would need a D. Well, that's frustrating about coom because it certainly would sort the rack out but I'm not seeing anywhere for it and look at this pretty much no floating vowels on the board but I still feel this is too good to change what do I have that goes next to E F N and T so I could play tump 28 points, not bad. Slightly open in that tump takes a Y and an S. What do I have through this O? O T is good, sorry, bunt is good. No, not seeing anything through that. Now what about the Y? So I have Tumpy, only 24 points. Well, I think this is the hottest spot. Ah, well, slightly perhaps better than Tump is two, the same score, but I'm not opening up row O and I'm keeping a vowel which goes well with the N. Is there anywhere else for two? No, I don't think so. Now, this looks a little better. The O and the U goes, go well with the C and the M. Not seeing a 7. There could be an 8 here. Great opponents change, so despite having a fairly miserable run of racks, I do have a lead. I have County in column 12. But is there a bingo? Not too many floaters to consider. D doesn't look useful. What about the Y? No, not seeing anything. What about O, N? No. And then T. No, the floaters aren't particularly great. Tef takes nothing in front. I could play O, U. So I could play Aon. Let me see what this scores. That's 24. Keeping two high scoring tiles. Not great. Do I have an alternative to County? Mounty, not good. No unwords. Uh, the C is a lot more bingoy than the M, which is why I'm hesitating. Only 22 points, providing a bunch of decent floaters. What about a play through this O? 
So I could play Mucron. For 22, the same score. Quite a nice rack leave. Yeah, I quite like this. Or rather, I prefer it to County. I, I'm not a big fan of the M. It doesn't feel a great bingo tile to me. So, Mucron for 22. And that's not good. Okay. What am I confusing that with? Not sure. Do I have something else? I'm going back to county. I feel I've spent long enough looking. Okay, so I would have maneuver through an N. This N is in the wrong spot. No other N available. I have the over prefix. Wow, 38 points for opponent. Well, I guess that could have been worse. I have Merva on my rack. Opponent's play has not opened anything, so this board is quite tight. ON does take an O, so I have Ovum, which is quite nice. Doesn't provide very much. And the rack leave, although, although, although vowel heavy, they're good vowels. Yeah, Ovum is not opening a bingo lane, so I like this. Can I do better? I've still got O and U for going next to W and P. But I think I would like to play off the V and preferably the M as well, which is precisely what this does. Goodyear may be good. For 39 points. I don't think I'll do that this turn, but it's available. And I don't want to do it this turn because I don't want to have Ovum as a rack leave. Now, maybe worth playing Goodyear next turn. Although I'm keeping A double I, I'm also keeping the Z, which goes well with vowels. Wow, bingo for opponent. He takes the lead. So... My Z can go in front of the E. So I have Zari. 52 points, decent score. Covering the double letter square. Sorting the vowels out better than Goodyear does. And if, if opponent plays through that I, he will be creating bingo lanes. So, can I do any better than this? Something which doesn't extend all the way to the edge of the board. No, not that I can see. And I'm not seeing anywhere better. I'm going with this. Well, I draw another high scoring tile which doesn't go well with eyes. Great, just 11 points. That has really paid off. Could have been a lot worse. So I could play Hadj for 39 points. Triple I, probably worth about minus 15. So is there any way I can do better? Just wondering if there are the right floaters for Ijtihad. And there isn't. I no longer have the Goodyear possibility. Ox takes an O. I don't have one. Well, I think I'm going to just deal with the eyes next turn and play Hadge for 39. Well, the I, the I run ends, which is good. I do have a lead. I have a whole bunch of one-point tiles, so I may struggle here. Inti is good. Not seeing anywhere for that. 29 for opponent. Quite nice. Ox and Zoo has really choked up the top of the board. 
So it's not a matter of it being difficult to find lanes for NT. There are just very few lanes on the board, period. Can't see anything ending in J. So I can play TT. 10 points, which I think is better than changing. I am setting up a bingo lane in column 14. But if the opponent plays there, I'll have access to triple word squares. And if he can't play there, he may feel he needs to block it for a pretty miserable score. We do have this diagonal setup, which means it's very hard for anybody to play anywhere. And TT stops opponent sticking an O on the end of Ox. But going back to the diagonalness, you can see down here nothing goes in front of TO, nothing goes in front of GU, nothing goes to the left of TEF. So scoring op options super limited. I am going with this. Well, not bad. But it's fairly pointless talking about being close to a bingo unless you've got an S, because there are no lanes. Zep only takes an S. So, what can I do here? I could play Vinyu. Rapleave not terrible, 30 points pretty decent. Opponent unlikely to bingo through the V. And I quite like the idea of having two sides to the board. If opponent were to bingo in column 14, then there'd be no openings on the board and I would make an opening, opponent would block it down. Whereas now, there are definitely two bingo lanes on the board. I'm going with this. Wow, grim pickup, all vowels. But I do have a slender lead. Can I hang on? Nice score for opponent. So can I score off the V? And I'd like to play off one of the O's. Is that possible? Not sure it is. I could play there. Only 21 points, keeping four vowels, which is pretty atrocious. Now, did opponent have a, a further S when they played Stead? There are still two to come. Very difficult to know because the S did add a lot to the score. Nine minutes on my clock. I'd really like to sort this rack out because they are bingo -y tiles. And really I need to play off A, E and O. So EOAN would do that, five points. Pretty atrocious setting up a hot spot here. Wow, this is tricky. Let me come back, I've still got eight minutes. What about a play through the C? Well, I've got nothing to go in front of OX. I think I've overlooked this lane because obviously an NC play would score quite well. really would be nice to play through this V, but I, I think that's simply not available. Aeon is the anagram of EOAN, that's also pretty hopeless for me. Let me look at the remaining vowels. 14 out of 36. Vowel dry. So... What to do here? Oh, well, what about Anoa? I quite like that. It's eight points. Still quite a decent rack leave, not providing anything as juicy as a vowel next to this triple letter square. I'm going with this. Wow, what a pickup. I pick up the S and the blank. Still got a ton of vowels, but there must be the possibility of a column 14 bingo. 
great. Look at that, just 21 points for opponent. That's the value of having a non-bingoey tile in a triple letter lane. So I need to focus on my rack. A bingo now in column 14 could be enough to secure the win because the rest of the board is totally choked. Here we go, let me see if I can find one. Aceros. Boom, that works. And I think I'm going to play it because the C is so useful as a blocky tile. And nothing goes after TTs, so opponent's left with a two-letter play at the bottom and a two-letter play at the top. It couldn't be any better. Well, quite nice. I have a 40-point lead, and on a non bingoy board, I'm really looking for scoring tiles to see me through to the end of the game. And my H can go next to the C. Not sure I can do much with that. Great, just nine points for opponent. So what about just playing high? There are no E's to come, so triplicate E, I don't mind. And look at this, I can get 30 points. Wow, that's a lot. Can I do any better? No, I don't think so. And the question is, what's opponent going to do now? Look at this board. It's, it's a magnificent sight from a defensive perspective. Yeah, look at that, 16 points. No opening. Six minutes on my clock. I've got a nice rack. Am I absolutely sure there are no lanes? I guess bingo's, end, bingo's ending I. But absolutely nothing. So this is good stuff. But still nine tiles to come. So, what to do? I could play TE down here. 12 points, providing nothing, which is good. And the rack leave quite good. Can I do any better? There are no E something O words. Certainly not from my rack. There is emo. Are there any other spots I ought to be considering? Well, this U is simply a single square. Yeah, I am going with this. Well, just really need to ride this out. I lead by 60. Only seven tiles in the bag. Great, an opponent gets a miserable score and doesn't open the board. Quite happy for that to continue. Six tiles in the bag. Now, I do need to play something. Can I get value from the J? Don't think so. What about my S? No, apart from cheese. And Noah is good. So I could play reset to expedite the end of the game. 13 points. Providing nothing. Yeah, I think I will go with this. This board is super choked. Literally no point in hanging on to an S. I guess the point is, what if opponent opens a lane and it's impossible for me to block? Well, by turning over, by playing four tiles, opponent's got limited opportunities for doing that. And look at this, I don't think opponent will be bingoing anyway. And I lead by 60 points. So opponent played chin, one tile in the bag. What can I do? Ah, now what I didn't consider was a play vertically in column 9. So a play ending I-N-O or I-N-A. Lino. And I think we're, we have reached the stage of the game where it is just a case of playing off an odd tile here or there. Great, and I've got the an E for playing Joe and 9 next turn. Opponent's still got 16 minutes on their clock. 
and a miserable rack. Sny is good, but I'm not seeing anything better than just putting an E here. I'm going to play this as fast as I can because I don't think there's much much value to be gained by considering any moves. I think the result of the game is fully determined. Now, opponent does open a bingo lane, but only for bingos ending in A, and opponent doesn't have one. I do have one. So I could play Aiga, A-I-G-A, in which case I could do with playing off double E right now. Is that literally anywhere for double E? Not sure there is. Ah, oh, well, there is. And I, I will play it. Re for seven. And I played that rather than Joe so that I would have an out this turn. Opponent may block that. Or may not be able to block it. I'm um, just looking at this C. A play down onto that could achieve a block. So Flick is available, but then I would have Agila. Okay, great. Where's opponent gone? J11, you are. I have Aiga for, for 10. And the final score, 345 for my opponent, 433 for me, a winning margin of 80. Eight points, so a huge, huge win. Let's see what I missed. That was fantastic. It can be nice to have a bloodbath, but it's also nice to completely strangle the board when you lead. Now, it was me to go first. I had this rack. And I played goody for 28, that looks fine. Opponent's rack. No bingo, plays un. And now baffed. Oh, wow, it plays over the top of goody for 25, above beginning above O. And I played baffed for five fewer points. Definitely a better play in row G. Now opponent's rack. Plays D. And I have a grim rack, and I do spot two in the end, and that looks fine. Opponent's rack changes. My rack. Oh, wow, I play county, but I could have played country. Interesting, for two more points. Would have been worth doing. The R is a good tile, but I don't think it's worth... I don't, I don't think it adds two to the M. Probably very little between those. <gasps> Opponent's rack missed bingo. Arexin's tricky one to see. And Ono oh plays Ox. And I have Ovum for 33, and there's Goodyear that I was considering. Great rack for opponent. Bingo's with Shinier for 83. Could have got three more points with Grinches through this C. Now my rack, I play Zari for 52. That looks fine. Opponent's got the Q, plays Chi. And now my lead only 10 points and I have a pretty grim rack. Wow, K11. Where's that? Gosh, because Maze is good. Well, I missed that spot. Gosh, so yes, take Taj would have played there for 49. Instead I play Hatch for, for 39. Yeah, and the T doesn't add 10 points to E triple I, so... Tarch would have been better. Opponent's rack. Plays any. C10. And this is the NC lane, which I, I overlooked. And I think Insight for 26 would have been worth doing. Instead, I played TT for, for 10. Now, opponent's rack. No bingo. Plays Pew for 33. Could have played it with Up and Metsy. For 45. I now do have a bingoey rack, but it's not a bingoey board. And another NC spot with events, which I overlooked, and I 
played venue for 30, which I was pleased with, but events would have been better. And look at this, over wet, also available in row L because of D double E. Opponent's rack, no bingo, but it looks jolly close. Plays stead, so opponent did not have a spare S. And here I'm, I'm struggling. I, I trail by 17 points, 16 points rather, and I have six vowels. Didn't like the V plays, keeping four vowels. So I play a Noah for eight, leaving that lane alone. And I still like my play. Opponent's rack plays Veer. And here we go, I play Aceros fairly quickly. I liked it for reasons stated, and no higher score was available. Opponent's rack, pretty non bingo -y. plays Cooler. And I have He for 30, which looks fine. Gave me a comfortable margin on such a blocked board. Opponent's rack, super non bingo -y. plays Um. My rack is bingo -y, but there are no lanes. So I played TE for 12, and look at that, that was the highest scoring play available. Opponent with seven consonants, pretty awful. Plays key and car. And now I play reset. Interesting, which is almost the highest scoring play, and definitely expedites the end of the game, so I like my play. Opponent's rack plays chin. And now, well, there's still one tile in the bag. What do I do? I play Lino for 13. Yeah, that's fine. Very little else on offer. Ah, oh, one. that's an interesting play. The top one, Lavia in column one, making Akka. Now, opponent's rack plays Gam. And now I have my to move out. I initially saw Joe, but that didn't give me an out next turn, whereas E re does. Opponent plays Er, and Aiga is the only out, so delighted to have spotted that. So, what a game. Absolutely tremendous fun. We were jolly close, and the board was starting to look tight, and then I had that dream pick up which enabled me to play Aceros and then I was in a very strong position because I had a lead on a super tight board and it was just a case of playing through the end not making mistakes and not inadvertently creating new bingo lanes so all good fun many thanks to my opponent for a good battle I hope you enjoyed watching that game and I will see you next time